In this video, we're focusing on a unique trading series experiment in 2024 TF2 Unusual Trading. I've already done a part one of this series, but I'll repeat the regulation so that we're all on the same page. I've purchased another 100 Unusuals and I'm going to detail the entire process, from the reasoning behind each purchase to the outcomes of the trades. Throughout the video, I'll be sharing specific information about each Unusual item, including why I bought it and its sellability and performance. This video will help you take an in-depth look at trading strategies, market trends, and the POV of handling a large amount of items. At the end, I'll summarize my findings and the key takeaways from part two of this series. Hopefully you can leave this video with a better insight of unusual trading. Now before we start, I'll go over how I'm tracking everything. In the first column, you'll see the unusual's name. Next, you'll see the price I bought it for. After that is the date I bought it on. Following that is the price I sold it for if I did. Next is the date sold if I did sell it. After that is the profit in keys if I sold it. And finally, the profit margin percentage. What was my return on investment? So price sold divided by price bought. If the table is highlighted in green, that means I know I've successfully sold it for profit. If the table is highlighted in yellow, that means I am still trying to sell the item as of this upload. If the table is highlighted in red, that means I either sold the item for a loss, sold it for the same amount I bought it for, or I simply don't know what happened to it. I'll also have a picture on the left of the table for each item. Most items were sold on marketplace.tf. To determine profit, I'll divide the price I sold it for after tax by $1.8 or $1.6 since keys have been dropping since November, which is how I got the price of keys for price sold. I'll try to showcase a screenshot for each sale if I can. Some are missing or weren't sold on marketplace.tf. The dates go by day, month, year. For instance, 9 slash 08 slash 23 is the 9th of August 2023. Each sale is as of 6th of January 2024, which is the time of this upload. And take this video with a grain of salt. Nothing is actually 100% accurate here, but I know for sure the data I've collected is at least 95% accurate, which I think is good enough to suffice for a second educational video. Now that I've laid out the ground rules for this experiment, enjoy the video. Starting things off with the Terrell Watt Brotherhood of Arms. I think this is a very good unusual, even if it has inflated a little bit. A very average sale time and profit margin. Hot totally boned war paint field tested. I got this extremely cheap and it actually looks nice. I haven't sold it yet, but I think it can fetch a really good price if I stay patient or simply lower the price. Miami Knights Texas Tin Gallon. Decent looking hat for engineer, even if it is robo. I actually think Miami Knights is quite overrated for its price, to be honest. I think Cloud9 and Disco Beatdown are superior. Nevertheless, good profit margin in just 20 days. Vivid Plasma Berlin Brain Bowl. I actually got traded this as a downgrade. Vivid Plasma is decent, but is often inflated. The hat looks very good, but is a mercenary grade from the Tough Break collection, which makes it very inflated. Kilowatt Boston Brain Bucket. Very cheap unusual for Scout. Decent profit and decent speed. It must have appealed to someone on a budget. Purple Energy Nightbane Brim. I took a risk on this one. It was a new hat, but I knew Purple Energy on a demo hat like this looked a bit too cheap, and I was right. A very nice margin in under a month. Spellbound Aspect, The Skating Scorcher. A very lovely unusual, but there are many effects that are better value than this. This was such a fluky sale, that margin is unheard of. Not to mention it only took one and a half months. Miami Knights Bonk Helm. Nice looking scout hat, but being an old hat with Miami Knights, which is a third gen effect, it has many sellers, which makes it hard to sell. Miami Nice Front Runner. Awesome looking scout hat, but I've quick sold it because I needed keys. And this hat is just like the last hat with many sellers. Vivid Plasma Brigade Helm. I'm surprised someone bought it for this much despite being inflated. It is a very good looking pyro hat. A decent margin in a decent amount of time. This was included in the 2 for 1 downgrade with the Vivid Plasma Berlin Brain Bowl. Starstorm Insomnia Nasty Norseman. As I've said in part 1, Halloween 2016 effects sell very fast on Halloween 2016 hats even with sellers. The Nasty Norseman is actually a very good looking all class unusual. I'd strongly recommend buying these even at small discounts. Cool Snowflakes World War Paint field tested. I got this extremely cheap and it looks good. I probably have a price too high or there is market competition. Isotope Spider Season War Paint field tested. I got this really cheap and it looks amazing. I think it could sell for my high price if I wait even longer. Cool Peppermint Swell War Paint well worn. Okay looking paint, got it for cheap, I may have to lower the price for a sale. Isotope Peppermint Swell War Paint field tested. Good looking war paint for a cheap price. 
I may have to lower the price for a sale on this as well. Isotope anodized Aloha wall paint minimal wear. Nice looking wall paint I got for pretty cheap and sold for quite high. It if, even if it took 3 months, that's a great margin. Purple Energy Dust Bowl Devil. I knew this was such a steal for 33.5 keys as Purple Energy on a very good looking commando grade engineer hat would have appealed to someone and it did for 50 keys. Excellent margin for only 1.5 months. Tropical Frill Brutal Head. Great looking effect on an okay looking, although low tier scout hat. That margin is good for the time it took. I would have expected it to sell faster, but I'll take the sale even if it's slow. Bobbling Killer's Kabuto. I'm usually not a fan of low tier effects on higher tier hats. It did sell for a good margin, but that took nearly 5 months. The Killer's Kabuto is also quite inflated nowadays too. Dead President's Merc's Mohawk. I forgot to actually write down that this sold when making this video. There's also a low tier effect on a high tier hat. The Merc's Mohawk has also fallen off since the introduction of the multi-class cosmetic trait. A pretty garbage hat, but a fast sale is always good despite a small return. Disco Beatdown Western Wear. A very nice engineer hat that I'm surprised hasn't sold yet, just a bit unlucky. Hot Seriously Snowed Wall Paint Minimal Wear. A decent wall paint for a good price. It'll either take a while to sell or I'll just lower the price. Miami Nice Your Worst Nightmare. This is a nice snipe unusual that sold for very high. Higher than I expect and very quickly. 66% return in under a month is insane. Green Energy Dark Falkirk Helm. This is an okay looking all class hat with the beautiful green energy effect. It is quite inflated and sold for higher than I expect, but everything else green energy like this is inflated anyway, so there's no other choice. Good margin and fast sale. Devilish Diablo Spooky Head Bouncers. Took a little bit of time because of competition, but this hat sells better the smaller the market competition. Isotope Spider Season Wall Paint Well Worn. Nice looking paint, even if it's well worn. I got it extremely cheap and sold it very high. That margin is crazy, especially for only 20 days. I want to call it a fluke sale, but you'll get items that sell like this every once in a while. Hot Gaudy Green Wall Paint Well Worn. This is a good price I bought it for, but honestly this wall paint is ugly. Cool Eye Stalker Wall Paint Field Tested. Just like the last one, a good price but ugly looking. Hot Horror Holiday Wall Paint Field Tested. A nice looking wall paint I got for cheap. Even just looking at it, it has barely any scratches. At first I thought it was factory new when putting in an image. It was slow with a decent margin, but I'll take it. Isotope Searing Souls Wall Paint Battle Scarred. I think this wall paint is very overrated and I don't think I've ever had a hot one, which further shows how hype people are, are on these. I got a nice margin for being extra patient on this. Isotope Snow Globalization Wall Paint Factory New. I got this extremely cheap for it being factory new and I sold it for very high. Even though it almost took half a year, that margin is absolutely insane. Over a 2x return on investment with one unusual. This normally would be a low tier paint, but factory new makes up for it. Isotope Calavera Canvas Wall Paint. I got this nice looking paint for very cheap and its margin is fantastic for under 3 months. Burning Flames Human Cannonball. A Burning Flames all class hat. Decent margin in a decent time. I actually would have thought I would be stuck with this for a while, but clearly not. Astral Presence Zoom and Broom. Amazing taunt with a very unique effect. I'm not sure what happened to it though. I probably quick sold it needing keys and saw this had lots of competition. Isotope Professional Killstreak Sunriser Flamethrower Minimal Wear. This is a great looking flamethrower and I think the premium price was worth it only because of the professional killstreak. I'm not actually sure what happened to it. It doesn't seem easy to quick sell it either. I tried researching deeper but I couldn't find anything about it. Strange. Cool Skullcrack Shotgun Minimal Wear. This shotgun is quite nice, but looking back, paying 36 for this is too much. Disco Beatdown Nappers Respite. A very good looking and popular hat. I bought it for a nice discount, but more interestingly, sold it for very high. In just 2 months, I nearly doubled my money. Isotope Chili Autumn War Paint Field Tested. A very nice looking war paint I got for cheap. I would have expected it to sell by now, but it's just bad luck I guess. Or a lack of luck supposedly. Hot gift wrapped wall paint field tested. I got this for cheap, but it is quite ugly to be honest. I might have to re quick sell it. Gravelly Ghoul Hollowed Helm. A nice looking newer Halloween effect on a good looking all class hat. A very average sale, you could say. Vivid Plasma Backbiters Billy Cock. A newer hat like this would appeal to a spy bait. A decent margin for the time taken. Disco Beatdown Burning Bandana. A nice looking pyro hat. Decent margin, but extremely good sale because it only just took just over a week. Isotope Chili Autumn War Paint Field Tested. And yes, I do have two. I bought for the exact same price on the exact same day. Same thing as I said before. Hot Gift Wrapped War Paint Field Tested. I know it's a coincidence, another duplicate, but you can even search it up. I'm still selling both that I bought for the exact same price on the exact same day. Same notes as before. 
Cool Haunted Ghost War Paint Battle Scarred. This is a great looking war paint, but it is unfortunately battle scarred. It took a while to sell, but I got it for very cheap and that margin is very good. I'm surprised it sold for this much as well. If you get an isotope one of these in any condition, list it very high. I guarantee you someone will snag it up no matter how much it costs. I'm talking like 200, 300, 400 dollars. Cool Skull Study War Paint Field Tested. A nice looking war paint and a decent price. It's not very unique, so no one has bought it yet. Isotope and Hot are much better looking on something like this. Hot Snowflakes World War Paint Battle Scarred. That is an extremely cheap price to buy for, but it is a bit lackluster. Cool Bamboo Brush War Paint Field Tested. A decent looking war paint for a good price. Not very unique, and the other two effects look better, so I haven't sold it yet. Energetic Haunter Beanie the All Knowing. That is an extremely cheap price to buy for and I would have expected it to sell by now because it's an okay looking hat with an excellent budget effect but I'm sure there are many market competitors. Cool Searing Souls War Paint Field Tested. Again, the other two effects will look so much better on this and I think that this paint is overrated. The only reason I bought it is the price. Cool Anodized Aloha War Paint Field Tested. A very average looking war paint for a decent price. Cool doesn't work nearly as well as the other two effects on this. Isotope Merc Stain War Paint Well Worn. A nice looking war paint for a very cheap price. Not much to say, perhaps the well worn aspect is scaring off potential buyers. Mammy Knight's Barnstormer. A very mid range unusual hat for the engineer. The margin is great though for a sale that took under a month. Haunted Ghost Baron von Havenna Plain. This is a good looking medic unusual and was a nice margin for under two months. Clairvoyance Defragmenting Hard Hat 17%. This did have sales in the past, but I've been struggling to sell this because of market competitors constantly undercutting me. I'd also avoid any generic 1st gen, 2nd gen or 3rd gen effect on a hat like this. Cool Cream Corn War Paint Factory New. I probably paid slightly too much for this even though it's factory new. The war paint doesn't look too bad, but Cream Corn is unpopular. Frightened Portages Second Head Headwear. A very budget all class hat I got for cheap, but I'm pretty sure other people are hard undercutting me at the moment, so no sale yet. Stormy Storm Respectless Rubber Glove. This looks like a decent hat for the pyro, especially for the price, but I'm unsure what happened to it. Cool Snow Globalization War Paint Well Worn. Even though this paint is a bit dull, it did sell fast for a good margin. Sometimes you do get lucky in trading. Isotope Leopard Printed War Paint Field Tested. Not only is this a beautiful war paint for a cheap price, it also has the white leopard pattern which is quite uncommon. I have a picture on the right of what it looks like and the pattern generation board to see how rare it is. It's like a 25% chance. I have it listed very high but I do think it could sell. Hot Professional Killstreak to my Toasted Shotgun Field Tested. I took a risk in this area because I have little experience in selling something like this, but it did appeal to someone and gave me a nice margin, albeit in a long time. Tesla Coil Wingman. Good looking Halloween 2016 effect and scout hat. I followed my own advice as before. Buy for a slight discount, even with a full market, and get out quick. Starstorm Insomnia Mohorn. Even though I say Halloween 2016 hats and effects are good, I think this is an exception. Back in the day, it would be good, but nowadays, since this is a pink grade and doesn't look that good, it has inflated and is hard to sell. I think I quick sold mine on a shortage of keys. Hot Horror Holiday War Paint Well Worn. This is an okay looking war paint that I got for really cheap. This is just one of those items I think I'll have laying there until I get lucky one day. Enchanted Taunt Party Trick. This is a nice looking taunt, but I probably quick sold it due to high market competition. Cloud9 Powdered Practitioner. I honestly think this hat is very underpriced. A small profit margin, but I'll take it. Contagious Eruption Hawaii Hunter. A great margin in a small amount of time. I expect a very limited effect like this to sell quickly, even on a low tier heavy hat, and it did. Beware of market competitors though. Dead President's Charmers Chapio. This is a great looking spy hat that is an exception to my rule of low tier effects on high tier hats. It also sold extremely quickly for a good margin. Orbiting Fire Deep Cover Operator. A nice looking unusual that I saw was discounted and sold high. Bought and sold on the exact same days as the last hat. Great margins for such a short time. Astral Presence The Victory Lap. This is such an amazing popular taunt that I expected would take really long to sell but for good profit but it actually sold in just 13 days for a whopping 95% profit margin. Like I said, you do get lucky in trading sometimes. Orbiting Planets Boxcar Bomber. The effect is pretty bad and I'm quite surprised it sold quickly, but I'll take it. Isotope Hypergon Degrees are field tested. Hypergon is a great war paint to have in Unusual, but looking back, 32 keys is too much to pay. I also have no idea what happened to this degreaser. Star Trance Boston Brain Bucket. A good looking effect on a low tier scout hat. 
I'm not sure why it hasn't sold yet, either due to bad luck or market competitors. Phantom Crown Spooky Head Bounces. These sell extremely well in an empty market and it did. Just one month and a 35% return. Haunted Ghost Antarctic Eyewear. That is an extremely low price to buy for, but it is inflated with many sellers. I have no clue what happened to mine, probably best if I quick sold it. Festive Light Spiky Viking. A cool effect, but a very low tier, unpopular hat. On backpack.tf, it says it's one of one, but there's another seller. I might be lucky to sell it one day. Cool Tiger Buffed Warpaint Battle Scarred. Now this is a nice looking warpaint for a great price, even if it's Battle Scarred, but most importantly, it has a black pattern. As you can see on the right, there's like a what? 2-3% black? I, f I have it listed for extremely high, but I'm hoping someone notices that it's listed high and takes a deeper look into such a rare pattern, especially in Unusual as well. Hot Gordy Green Warpaint Factory New. This is still an ugly war paint, even if it's factory new. 41 keys is probably too much to pay for a paint like this. Isotope Backwoods Boomstick Shotgun Field Tested. Now even though it hasn't sold, it does seem like a great sell. Isotope, a green weapon effect, on a very green shotgun. I'm either unlucky or I'm lacking some knowledge that this is actually subpar. Isotope Cream Corn War Paint Minimal Wear. 32 keys is actually a lot to pay for something like this, but I got lucky and sold it quickly for a good margin. Isotope Health and Hell War Paint Field Tested. Now, if this was the green version, Isotope would literally triple its value, but it's not. Still good looking though, and a great margin for a fast time. Cool Leopard Printed War Paint Well Worn. Just like the Black Tiger buffed pattern earlier, this sort of has a bit of white on it as well, which isn't as good, but is so close to beauty. I have it listed very high, but I don't have as much hope on this as the other one. Good price to buy for as well. Hot Spider Season Rocket Launcher Field Tested. A great looking rocket launcher. I have to get lucky to sell this for a good margin. Runic Imprisonment Spin to Win. That is an absolutely crazy cheap price to buy for. Imagine buying an unusual for just a key. No matter what it is, that is an insanely good deal. I'm not sure what happened to it though. Skill Gotten Gains the Proletariat Pose Down. Unlike the other torn, I actually sold this very fast for an extremely high margin, although it's only two keys profit. Bubbling Tough Stuff Muffs, a pretty underwhelming all-class hat. 12.3 key seems like a good price to buy it for, but I have no clue what happened to it. Blizzardy Storm Arctic Mole. In my last video, I sold a few of these either as Blizzardy Storm or Tainted Frost, due to their themed combination, and they sold very quickly for excellent margins. Aurora Borealis Taunt Square Dance. This is a nice taunt, but there are probably just so many effect options for buyers to choose from that they haven't chose my one. Circling TF logo Jolly Jingler. This hat is very mid, but I got it for quite a cheap price and sold it pretty high. Not a bad margin for the time taken. Rain Dunicorn Rancher Torn the Victory Lap. This effect is very low tier actually from an earlier collection, but the Victory Lap is so good and pairs well with it that it actually sold very high for a great margin in a short time. Wintery Wisp the Soviet Strong Arm. This is a nice looking heavy torn that even though it took 5 months to sell, resulted in an 80% profit margin. Shimmering Lights, the Meet the Medic. This is a great effect and Meet the Medic is actually a really good taunt. For 3 months, the 84% profit margin shines through. Spiraling Lights Air Dog. This is a really low tier, bottom of the barrel budget hat that I bought for cheap, but there are probably so many better options you can choose for slightly more keys. Tainted Frost, Field Practice. The Field Practice is extremely inflated and 34 keys is a gamble. Tainted Frost does look nice, but it is a very budget effect. I have no clue what happened to it either. Pastel Trance, the Fuba Fanware. Pastel Trance looks amazing in game despite the oversupply from summer 2023. It actually sells decently from my experience. Also in just 8 days, that margin is great. Astral Presence Taunt the Victory Lap, the actual number 100 unusual of this video. I sold one earlier in this episode for a crazy profit, but like I expected, second time around, this has been stuck with me for a while, but its potential is limitless. Hot Quack Canvas War Paint Minimal Wear. This is an awesome war paint that I got for really cheap and sold it for extremely high. Even though it took 3.5 months, 168.28% profit margin is something anyone would go nuts over. Cool Simple Spirits War Paint Field Tested. This is an okay looking war paint. Hot and isotope would look better. It's just going to sit there and either rot away or luckily sell. Hot Gingerbread Winner War Paint Field Tested. This is a good looking war paint but is oversupplied. Winter 2020 war paints have tons in circulation and the case itself is still worth 3 cents, so there's going to be more. Cool quack canvas war paint field tested. A nice looking war paint but again, hot and isotope would look great here. 
I don't think I could fluke sell this one like the hot minimal wear one, but I should still be able to make a nice profit on this. And now that we've gone over 100 unusuals, I've collected the data for you to see and we're going to now compare it to episode 1. Each unusual this time had between 180 to 220 days to sell. This time I only spent 2,270 keys, which is 480 less than part 1, an 18% decrease, which can be bad or good. Unfortunately, I sold 2 less unusuals than part 1 of this series, but 48 out of 100 is still great. Those 2 less unusuals I sold in the green went to the red at 11 out of 100, although I think I sold less of them for a loss and just quick sold them. In total, I profited roughly 510 keys, which is actually 10 more than in part 1, while spending 480 less keys, which is impressive. The average profit margin this time was 53%, which is a huge 9% plus increase than in part 1, and an excellent one overall. However, remember the skill gotten gains taunt the proletariat pose down dragged this number up a lot with its own 171% profit margin with 2 keys profit. So if I excluded that one taunt, the actual total comes down to 49.76%, which is still really good and still a noticeable improvement over part 1. And finally, the average time to sell was 58 days, which is an average of 8 days longer than in part 1. So although it took me longer to sell things and I spent less keys, I ended up making more profit anyway. Interesting to see how being patient and smart can yield you better returns. And that brings us to the end of our deep dive into the world of trading now 200 unusuals in Team Fortress 2. I hope this journey through each unusual, the strategy behind acquiring them, and the outcomes of these trades has provided you with practical insights and a clearer understanding of the dynamics involved in bulk trading. If you found this analysis helpful, or if it has inspired your own trading strategies, please leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm interested to hear how you might approach a similar venture or any questions you might have about this experience. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, where we explore the intricacies of TF2 trading in a factual and detailed manner. And if you want to stay updated with future videos, hit the notification bell will ensure you won't miss out. Thank you for watching and as always, happy trading and good luck on your own TF2 journey. Until next time, see ya.